I got my stereo tube cutter. This one, as you see, is one eighth to one one eighth. It does from, as you see here, three millimeter up to thirty millimeter. As I'm gonna be doing my fork soon, I picked up some tools, and this is one thing I needed. And um, also picked up a file. What is the half circle file? So when I cut the stereo tube, I can easily file the internal part and I can just file around the edges. This I picked up for like five pound cheap. But we do what it has to do. This one was only nine pound. This one I got from Wikis. In Wikis they had this for nine pound. This is up to one one eighth. So it's thirty millimeter. So on forks on my bike it will say zero stack forty four and it will say twenty eight point six millimeter. That is the circumference the not the inner circumference, the outer circumference. So this will work if it's just fine as it's 30 millimeter. So I'm going to be using this tool to cut the new forks because I'm going to be getting tapered onto my bike. So once I get all the forks, the new headset and everything like that, then I post that video at a later date. And they're showing that this is what I just picked up. The other tools that they had in wikis started from £40 upwards. They started to get more expensive, but all I need is just something that can cut. And at the top of here, they have, um, let me see, can I open this? I do this. They even gave you a spare blade, spare steel blade. And because I'm cutting Aluminium, or what some people may say, aluminium. This one would, just, would cut straight through with no problems because I'm cutting aluminium. So put that back in to the top. Let's see, get that back in the top there. Get the cap. And let's see, the cap's here. So Oh my god, put the cap on. Now, oh, yeah, Wiki's nine pounds. Can't wait for the forks and everything to come. Need the air pump to come as well. Headset, and this is a tool I'm going to use. Phillips screwdriver, straight in. Take it out, change the blade. You got your double rollers over there. Let's see. Yeah, the spin, quite nice. Maybe have to put some lubricant in them. This spin, they will do the job anyway. If anything, I would just um, put a GA5 there. Some GA5 there, lubricant, it should be fine. So, let me open this up. As you can see, you spin it. There you go. Starting to open right up. And... When it gets this point, where it goes, let me see. Okay. Here we go. That's fully extended. So it will fit in and it will cut. As you're cutting, when you're cutting, you tighten up a bit, you go around, you tighten up a bit. You go around, tighten a bit, go around and go around until it cuts off. So that's it right there. One eighth to one one eighth was was one and a quarter. And you can see over here three to thirty millimeters. That was only nine pound. It doesn't actually have a name. It's just a pipe cut. I don't see the brand name on it. And this here, let me see, has a part that comes out. Let me 
that is. However, I have no idea what that is. Whoever's into plumbing or those people's into electrical insulation, if you use this type of tool, then they will know what this is. I'm only here for the cut apart. Have that. Got the fire ready. And we're good to go.